I will discuss about body language. It means non-verbal communication. Your facial expression, gesture, posture, and tone of voice are powerful communication tools. Whenever you want to communicate to anyone, you communicate in different different way. So, facial expression, gestures, postures, and tone of voice are very powerful to communicate to anyone. Now, you use body language to build better relationship at home and work. Sometimes you do not want to speak. You do not want to go the same way. You want to say something in different way, and body language is uh, better. Somewhere it's not so good. Women sitting next to man or doors, making eye contact, listening emphatically. You have seen, I have seen also. So that you can say clearly, sometimes when you do not want to go through the previous way to communicate, then you are searching, you are going, you go in different way to communicate other. Now you have to know what is body language because you have seen many times, you have listened the word also when it is used. So it's must for you to know about body language. While the key to success in both personal and professional relationships lies in your ability to communicate well, it's not the words that you use but your non-verbal choose of body language that speak the loudest. Body language is the use of physical behavior. That means you present something front people physically physical behavior expressions and mannerism to communicate non-verbally often done insensibly rather than consciously whether you aware of it or not when you interact with others you are continuously giving and receiving wordless signal. Wordless signals. I am saying clearly, you do not use the words, but you want to indicate something. All of your nonverbal behaviors, the guesses you make, your posture, your tone of voice, how much eye contact you make send a strong message. They can put people at ease, build trust and draw others towards you. Or they can offend, confuse and undermine what you are trying to convey. Listener, listeners want to understand what are saying. What do you want to say? What do you want to indicate? Okay, and these messages, messages don't stop when you stop speaking either. Even when you are silent, you are still communicating non-verbally. Simply, I want to say that non-verbal body language is होती है. आप जब बैठे रहते हो और आप बोलते नहीं हो, but आपका expression ये बताता है कि आप समझ पा रहे हो. आप इशारों में किसी को बता देते हो आप किसी को बिना बोले हुए इशारा करते हो यानी साइलेंट होने के बाद भी आप उसको कुछ बोलते हो साइलेंट होने के बाद भी आप उसे कमांड या इंस्ट्रक्शन देते हो इट इज बॉडी लैंग्वेज ओके दैट मीन्स फिजिकली यू वॉन्ट टू से समथिंग टू द पीपल वो लोगों को आप फिजिकली बताना चाहते हो वर्बली नहीं बताना चाहते हो सो इट इज कॉल्ड नन वर्बली ओके नाउ 
in some instances what comes out of your mouth what you communicate through your body language may be two totally different things if you say one thing but your body language says something else your listeners will likely feel that you are being dishonest if you say yes while shaking your head no yes it's not correct no for example when faced with such mixed signal the listener has to choose whether to believe your verbal or non verbal messages since body language is a natural unconscious language that broadcast the your true feelings and intentions that would likely choose the non verbal messages whenever anyone asking and you have to say yes or no then your body your uh, head is saying something you never you are trying to say yes no okay so you you are using in the a particular way so that other can understand other can know okay now it was i have told about non verbal communication now by improving how you understand the use non verbal communication you can express what you really mean connect better with others you build a stronger more rewarding relationships the importance of non verbal communication you have to uh, know and it's must to know non verbal communication importance your non verbal communication cues the way you listen look move and react tell the person you are communicating with whether uh, or not you care if you are being truthful and how will you are listening when you your non verbal uh, signals match up with the words you are saying they increase trust clarity and rapport when they don't they can generate tension mistrust and confusion that means your body language should be perfect so that listener can understand clearly they will not have any doubt yani aap jo kuch hi batana chahte ho non verbal communication mein body language mein ye itna क्लियर होना चाहिए कि सामने वाले समझ जाए जो आपको सुन रहे हैं जो आपको समझ रहे जिनको आपको बताना चाहते हैं वो क्लियरली समझ जाए ऐसा ना कि उनके पास कुछ डाउट हो जाए ऐसा ना कि वो क्लियर कट समझा ही नहीं आपका ये करना था नो समझ गया नो बोलना था ये समझ गया नॉर्मल कम्युनिकेशन कैन प्ले फाइव रोल्स नो यू हैव टू नो ये फाइव रोल्स क्या है ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है रिपीटेशन इट रिपीट एंड ऑफ एन स्टेंस द मैसेज यू आर मेकिंग वर्बली this was first rule second is contradiction it can contradict the messages you are trying to convey thus indicating to your listener that you may not be telling the truth next point is third number point is substitution it can substitute for verbal messages that means jo aap verbally kehna chahte the aap verbally na kah ke bata kar ke aapne non verbally bataya okay so it can substitute for a verbal message now next is complimenting complimenting this is fourth number point it may add or to complete your verbal messages that means it is uh, complimentary so it complete your messages okay uh, if you want to know an example then i can say also uh, suppose a boss if you uh, pat an employees on the back in addition to giving praise it can increase the impact of your messages okay assenting this is also a point it may assent or underline a verbal messages pointing the table for example can under, underline the importance of your messages okay so this was uh, this were a uh, five rules of non verbal communication and hope you can clear you can understand what is non verbal communication or body language and importance of body language and how you should communicate to other through body language okay is tarah se aap body language ka importance bhi jaan sakte ho body language kya hai wo bhi samajh sakte ho aur body language kahan tak sahi rehna chahiye so that ki listener jo hai aapko clear samajh sake वो आपकी बातों को सही से समझे 
और यह ज्यादा से ज्यादा 